And uh, I see now we're trying to figure out how to give Mexico some food. And uh, uh, I saw in one of the briefing papers that uh, she wanted water, and we might not be able to give her water, but we could give her food. I don't know I want to be given away, but I damn sure have some things on my Santa Claus list and, and coordinate them. And then when they, when I did something, I'd make them, uh, I'd have a quid pro quo. Well, that's what we meant. That's what I think that you have, I think you've turned the flop, flap, flop in Mexico. I think you've got them where instead of confiscating everything now, they're trying to promote private enterprise, aren't they? That, that, that's our hope, and they're drifting in that direction. You know, they have a lot of problems. We, we, we have to stay with this thing day by day, but uh, I'm not pessimistic about Mexico. Mm -hmm. We've got a good person coming in. And, uh, what other places in the hemisphere have you got problem? Argentina, Brazil? This hemisphere is in worse shape than I've seen it in 20 years. We've got problems in, uh, Bol in Bolivia right now. The cabinet, uh, Poss is the only man there that can hold things together, and his whole cabinet is splintering in all directions because they want to be president four years from now. Well, can we get in there and do something to help him before he goes to hell? We're working on that this morning, and we're coming up with some ideas uh, on that. We've got a, an ins uh, a possible uh, revolt in the military against the military uh, fellow in Honduras. Yeah. We're watching that. Honduras. We've got Peru and Argentina about to expropriate all properties. Brazil is sick. Goulart is uh, irresponsible. Nearly everywhere we look, we have problems, but I, I'm sort of optimistic. Uh, I think what we did in Panama and Guantanamo is going to help us a lot in the hemisphere. And, uh, we need time. We need about. Well, why don't you try to sell this New York Times on the problem that you need help and that this, this thing you pick up is pretty sick? And that uh, you can't uh, do it by just uh, uh, being a floor mop, and you've got to have a little steel in your spine. If you don't, they'll shove you to death. They'll be like a country dog. And see if you can't get the Washington Post, New York Times, quick to taking the line they are. I'm going to try it, but those fellows are basically hostile to uh, everything you believe in, Mr. President. Okay. You guys that write the stories are. You know, I, spent, I had lunch over with the whole staff of the Washington Post. And made, in, in essence, the same pitch. And I was told later that Mrs. Graham, after the night, said that, uh, that, that, that they ought to give us time to see what we could do. But what you have is a, a half a dozen very far left-wing guys, like Kirsten, who are pretty stupid people, really. They, they don't know anything about Latin America. They don't speak the language. They've never been there. But they're full of theories. And these guys are crusaders. And how you deal with a, with a crusader is, uh, I think, the toughest problem of all. But... I think we're going to have to work on Mrs. Graham. Mrs. Graham uh, doesn't have any authority. She won't exercise it. She claims she's the best friend I got, and they murder me every day. Uh, well, that friendly runs that let paper. Talk, let me talk to Manny and see if we can't plot something. I'll get together with him and see if we can do the most effective thing we can. I think you ought to lay the groundwork and say that now we, we, uh, we need some help on American policy. And we don't think that uh, you're doing your goddamn country a bit of good. And, I wish you'd try to help us a little. All right. Okay. All right. All right.